guys, today we're talking about tarantula molds. Tarantulas have an exoskeleton. That means that the skeleton is on the outside of the body. When the skeleton, when the when the tarantula gets too big, the tarantula will molt its exoskeleton. And it will molt everything, including the fangs. So this is from a Brachypelmy Vagans that molted in 2009. In so we're going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to very carefully pick them up. Now, and you might be thinking, well, why do you need to very carefully pick it up? And why did you call it a him? Well, because this tarantula was a boy. Okay, there you go. So, it takes about 12 hours for them to molt. Your tarantula, if you have them, should not take... 24 hours to molt. If they do, uh, you have an issue. To complete a molt, they actually need to have humidity. If they don't have enough humidity, they could get stuck, and that's a very bad thing. But let's take a look at our molt. So, I'm doing this, and I can't see what I'm doing with my finger. So, right there, that is the fangs. We have the portion that would be the head, or the cephalothorax, right there. If it focuses, you can even see where the eyes would be. See the little V? Right above my fingers, where the eyes would be. They molt all of the legs, as well as the abdomen, which is actually... which is actually right there, as well as the spinnerets. Everything comes off. That molt, if they can't get the whole molt off, they would probably end up dead. Um, sometimes they do get stuck, and that's just Unfortunately, um, you can sometimes get them unstuck. Sometimes not. Okay. If you have questions, put them in the comment section. Time for the next. Well, not time for the next, but moving on.